what an honor to be part of this panel. Um, first time, as you told me three months ago, you'll be here on the international panel with people like yourself wanting to help people around the world. I would have never believed it. And thank you for that opportunity, Greg. And you spelled my surname correctly. Thank you for that. All right, so I hail from a little uh, country just north of Nam uh, South Africa, Namibia. I've studied here. Um, I have also lost, I've, I've lost uh, my business due to COVID. And that gave me the opportunity to get involved in um, other opportunities. And unfortunately, that uh, turned out to be pump and pumps. And Greg asked me, I should really share my thoughts on the legitimacy of Cope Life and in general Cope Proud. And why did I choose this? Now, I've been blessed by my upline to, to approach me. And we sat down, I really had a look in it because I was part of a group uh, last year through COVID and bless, bless COVID as well because COVID has given opportunities to plenty of other people around the world to open their eyes financially and say, is my job secure? There is no loyalty by any corporate art. If you lose your job, the company goes done, what are you going to do? And so legitimacy of this product, Coop Life, I mean, I was in the previous dispensation where suddenly the program was just closed down. It had ruined 8,700 people that were on there. Not only their funds were taken away, but it ruined their hopes and their dreams. And I was lucky to be part of the leadership in terms of building big teams. And we got hold of the scamster. We got some money back. But it wasn't enough to refund 8,700 people, all in the cryptocurrency space, which in future will be the financial dispensation that we got to really take up. And um, well, then I was introduced to Power Blast and I looked at it really very hesitant initially because of I've seen questions on the panel here, people asking, is it a Ponzi? Is it a pyramid? It is not. The more I think about this, and the more passion I see from the leaders like yourselves here on the panel and other people, it is so easy to share. Now, we undertook to refund 8,700 people. And some of the funds we got to be put into another platform, which now seems to be another company. Now, how do you as a leader feel like that? How do we as leaders feel when we have brought in, like Steve said, 60 people or more, and suddenly it just goes all belly up. You talk about our own integrity, it's, and we don't do it um, on purpose. We honestly want to help people in different opportunities. In. So Cove Life came across and I listened to Greg, listened to David T. Rosen, and again and again on these, uh, and, and I gotta confess, I've never missed one locker room training since I joined. It is so powerful what the people are sharing here and Greg, your dedication to this locker room training, as well as Nicole and Nalani and everybody else that have been giving training on here, is absolutely valuable. I will never miss one session again, ever. And uh, listening to David T. Rosen talking about pump and pumps where people promise 2%, 4% daily compounded, and suddenly the websites close. Funny things happen out there. So now, look at the legitimacy of Cold life, cold crowd, to only bring in key, three people, help them to share with another three people. How easy can it get? What sold me here is David T. Rose's 20 years of experience in crowdfunding. And with every program he's perfected it, made it better, made it better. 